Because I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad. My father gave my nose a tweak and told me I was bad. But then one day I learned a word that saved my aching nose. The biggest word you ever heard, and this is how it goes. Photosynthesis. Five syllables. Can you say it with me? Clap along. Photosynthesis. I know, my STEAM friends love big new words. Hey kangaroos, I talked to Miss Karina and I heard that you guys are talking about spring in the kangaroo class. And I thought that my favorite thing about spring is how all the flowers start to grow. So I thought we could talk about plants and about the parts of a flower. And I thought we could talk about how plants make food, which is photosynthesis. That is a long word. Can you say it with me? Photosynthesis. Whew, that's a big one. We're gonna talk about pollination, which is how flowers get fertilized. And then we're gonna talk about seeds and how they germinate into new plants. We're gonna talk about four types of green plants that have chlorophyll, which is just the green stuff in plants. Algae, moss, ferns, and phanerograms. Phanerograms, that's a funny word. We are going to talk about creepers and climbers and I wanted to show you my friend, the Pygmy Marmoset. Check him out. Isn't he so cute? He lives in the rainforest and he likes to hide among the plants and he likes to eat fruit. And I'll tell you something silly later about how he helps plants grow. And we are gonna see that leaves have veins in them just like you have in your body. See the veins in your body? Those veins go all through your body and carry blood and the veins in leaves carry water. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's get into it. I can't wait to talk about photosynthesis with you. Okay, STEAM friends, let's talk about plants. Let's talk about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Huh. Five syllables. Such a big word. But photosynthesis is just how plants use carbon dioxide and sunlight to make food for themselves called chlorophyll. They like sugar. from sunlight and water and carbon dioxide in a process called photosynthesis. And do you remember we talked about how when we breathe out carbon dioxide, the plants breathe it in and then they breathe out oxygen for us. Let's take three deep breaths for the plants. Are you ready? One. like chlorophyll are your green plants. Chlorophyll is green. It's just the green stuff in plants. And there are four kinds of green plants that use photosynthesis. There's algae, which is like the little slimy bits that get in water. Have you ever seen them? Have you ever forgotten to clean the fish tank? Don't tell Miss Joan, but when I was in the explorer's class, I forgot to clean the fish tank for a little while. And we got all kinds of algae. It was green and slimy and gross. Shh, don't tell on me. There's 
moss that likes to live in damp areas and it grows out along the ground. There's ferns that were around so long before even the dinosaurs. <gasps> and there's phanerograms. Whew, there's another big one, phanerograms. And that's just flowers and trees and the plants that we see all the time. Should we do a tree pose? Let's do a tree pose for the trees. Ready? Stand on one foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now, all of these venerograms I was telling you about have different parts. They have stems or trunks. They have leaves, they have roots. The roots dig down deep into the soil and soak up the water. And you know the plants just like us have veins. They have veins. Have you ever looked at a leaf closely and seen the veins? That is how the water gets to the leaves. It travels up through the roots, up through the stem or the trunk if it's a tree, into the leaves through the veins. That's where the magic happens. That's where photosynthesis happens. Okay, now there are different ways that plants can reproduce, reproduce, or get fertilized. They can get it through pollinization, which is the flowers have these little bits of pollen on the end, and then butterflies or bees come along and get that little bit of pollen on their sticky feet because it's sticky. It's sticky and it gets right on their feet. And then they fly to the next flower and it goes to the next flower. And that's how the flowers get fertilized. Now, after the flower has been fertilized, then it can make seeds. Plants grow from seeds, but I bet you knew that, right? I know. So, my favorite flower is the sunflower. And on a sunflower, you can see the seeds right there in the middle. The flower grows, the seeds grow on it. Then the seed germinates. It falls to the ground and it makes a new little shoot. And it grows into another flower. Look at that pattern. We love patterns in nature, right? We've talked about a lot of those. Then you've got the dandelion, you guys all seen the dandelion, right? It makes its seeds like this and they get caught on the wind, fall to the ground, germinate, and make a new dandelion. Have you ever wished on a dandelion before? Let's make a wish on a dandelion. Ready? <sighs> Blow those seeds everywhere. Blow them. The dandelions will thank you and then you'll have even more dandelions two other kinds of plants that I want to talk to you about. One is called a climber. It climbs trees. Do you like to climb trees? It climbs up the tree so it can get high, so it can get the sunlight that it needs in its leaves. And then there are creepers. They creep along the ground and grow their plants along the ground. One of the my favorite creepers is the pumpkin. I thought we could do the five little pumpkins rhyme. Would you like to do that with me? Okay. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. And five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Hello, Toodle Noodles. Are you ready to craft with me? Okay, you need a paper towel roll or toilet paper roll, some paper, 
Now, I just went in on my paper because it was just boring and white. So I took a sponge and some watercolors and just dabbed it around to make a background. You do not need to do that. You can work on white paper or you can draw yourself a little picture, make some grass at the bottom, maybe a sun up in the sky, or you could paint your sky blue and your ground green. Whatever you want to do, this is going to be your picture. You can make it as complicated or as easy as you want to. Now, if you have little fingers and can't work one of these yet, you can use fingerprints later. But I would like my big kids to work those fine motor skills. If you have a Q-tip around the house, that would be great. And then you're just going to need some paint, some yellow paint. I am going to use green paint because I have it for my stem, but you can draw your stem with a green marker if you want to. And I am going to use this really dark brown for my seeds in the center of my sunflower. You can use black if you have it or any brown you've got. All right, let's get started. I'm going to cut my paper towel roll in half. You might have two, or you might have two toilet paper rolls, but I want two stampers. And I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna cut lines into my paper towel roll. My big kids should be able to do this, but maybe if you can't, you could ask your mom or dad for a little bit of help. doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna spread it out like this. It's gonna make a flower shape, see? Okay, and I'm gonna do the other one because I wanna use two colors of yellow, but you do not have to. You can use whatever you have or whatever you want. You can use orange, you can use red. It's your flower. Nice little flower shape. Okay, now let's see. Let's work some of this yellow down. Just onto like a paper plate or whatever you've got. And I'm gonna cover my stamp with it. You might have to twirl it around a little bit, but you can see it's already starting to make a flower shape just on my plate. That's already a beautiful flower. And once you got paint on all those little bits, then you're just going to take it and stamp it down on your paper. You may need to make sure that they all stick down so that the paint goes on the paper. But it doesn't have to be perfect, see? It doesn't have to be perfect at all. All. And I'm going to take another yellow. And I'm going to get that all over my little handy dandy stamper. Twirl it around in there. And I'm going to press that one down. Lift it up. By now you probably have Miss Courtney hands. I think I'm going to give it one more stamp just to try to get some more over on this side where there wasn't much. There we go. There's some flower. Why there's no petal there? Okay. Alright. Now. Like I said, you can take a marker and draw a green line coming down to make your stem. 
or you can paint on your stem. I am going to use paint since I have it, but if I didn't have it, I would just use a marker. You can make this as complicated or as easy as you want to. Your stem really just has to be one green line coming down from your flower. It's really not that complicated. But maybe you want to put a leaf on it. Maybe you want to put two leaves on it. It's your art, so you make it how you want it. Alrighty. Now, we are going to squirt our, let me get this out of the way. I'm going to use my dark brown over here. Squirt some out. Take my little Q-tip. Dunk it in. And then just dot, 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 dot. Those are going to be your seeds. Mm. Let me see. You know me, guys. I like shiny things. I'm going to use a little bit of this bronze just because it's shiny. And I like things that shimmer. Yes, I know sunflower seeds are not copper colored, but it's my flower. I can make them how I want them. I can make them however I want to because it is my sunflower. All right, friends. Then you can go on to decorate it however you want. You could put some grass at the bottom if you want to, or some dirt. You could even give it roots if you really wanted to. Growing out under the ground. It's your flower. Make it how you want to. All right. Thanks for crafting with me. All right, kangaroos, we're back. Who is ready for a recap? We talked about photosynthesis, pollination, and seeds, and germination, and fertilization, and chlorophyll. We learned the four types of green plants that have chlorophyll, algae, moss, ferns, and phanerograms. We talked about creepers and climbers. And we saw that leaves have veins. They have a circulatory system, just like you have a circulatory system. There's your circulatory system. See all those veins? And I promised I would tell you more about my friend, the pygmy marmoset. He is the smallest monkey in the whole wide world. And he lives in the rainforest in Brazil and he likes to climb trees and he likes to hide in plants and he likes to eat fruit. Do you like to eat fruit? Well, when he eats fruit, he has to go to potty and he doesn't go potty in the bathroom like you and me. He goes potty right there on the rainforest floor. And guess what? The seeds are in the poop and they grow into new plants. 
pretty cool, right? Kind of silly, but pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I had a lot of fun with you today, and I will see you next week. I love you. I miss you. Bye. Guys, this is my buddy Buster. Isn't he the cutest? He likes to climb on my computer while I'm trying to work. He likes to do that. He likes to get in the way all the time. I thought you might like to meet him.